Hi, I'm Lars Brubaker, and this is Two Minutes with Matter Control. Uh, today we're going to edit this design, this L bracket that we made in a previous video. So we're just going to open it right up, uh, bring it out on the bed. We're going to flip it around, and then we're going to ungroup it so that we can actually just edit one side of it at a time. So we're going to edit this side here. We're going to pull out a sheet object. That's going to let us put in variables so that we can control all the parameters. So we're going to make it 30 wide, 35 deep, um, 4 high, and then the hole is going to be 5. So those are the variables that we're going to now add to all of the components of this object. So in here we have a cylinder. That's the front. This is actually the hole that we're drilling into the part. So we're going to set that di diameter to A4, which is the hole size that we wanted. We're going to set the height to A3 times 2. So that's the, the width of the object times 2 so that it'll cut all the way through. Then we're going to set the cone. This is the recessed part that like a screw would go into. And it's just going to be that hole size times 2. And then we're going to actually do the min of the height and the hole size. And that way, no matter how you rescale this part later on, it'll still make a good part. Now we're going to go ahead and scale the, uh, the cube in the back there. And um, the width is going to be the width. And then the depth is actually going to subtract out the width um, because it's in consideration of this cylinder. So now we're going to do the cylinder part. It has that same diameter as the width. And then um, we need to set its height. And we need to set the uh, width in two places because that advanced options is turned on for cylinders. So we have to do that. Um, now the alignment, we're going to make that an equation. So that equation is a little complex there, but pretty easy. We just figured that out in advance. Now we're going to copy and paste this so that we can go ahead and have two of them again. And that way it's an actual L bracket. Take these two objects, align them up, center and the front. Oh, that has to be the back. And now we've done it. So we've made a parametric L bracket. And let me show you how we can change its properties. So we change that to 20. It just automatically changes every bit of its width. And now we can change its depth. We'll change the actual size of this. So like the, the height of it there. So you can see it changed. And then this whole size. So we adjust that to 3. And it shrunk down. So there we've done it very quickly. Made a parametric L bracket with our previous design. Thanks for joining us. That's 2 Minutes with Matter Control.